Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today on my, wait, what? tip video, I decided I wanted to play with washi tape. I haven't used my washi tape in a while and I thought of some really great ideas for it that I wanted to share with you. We have four different sets or packs of washi tape in the new catalog and I'm going to be using the pick a pattern. We also have the basic one, two, or three pack. And you've got your reds, your greens, and your blues here. So these are really cute and color coordinating. I always like the black washi tape because there's some really neat things that I like to do with it. And I'm going to show you some of those. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do here is um, I've made this card. And I'll give you some tips on these cards. This is from the You're Delightful. This is a... This is an exclusive hostess set. You can get this when you have a party or when you place a $150 order, you can order the stamp set. And it's really cute. I really like how big the greetings are. You know I'm a big greeting person, right? So we've got some really big, you're the best and you're delightful. And my friend Dina Rico is very um, well known for uh, making comments that her husband says about her. He always says, you're delightful. So this just reminds me of her and I think that I am going to send this card to her. What we're going to do with it here is I've used Daffodil Delight and I've used the Bold Butterfly Thinlet for my butterfly and I mounted that on a little dimensional. I am going to take my marker on this black and color the white polka dots and the line yellow so that it matches my card. And of course, you can color this any color you want. And isn't that cute? This is just one of the things you can do with your washi tape. So dark washi tape, like this black pick a pattern, which is fabulous. And you can color it in with markers. Here's um, the one that I use. We've also got these great arrows, some little dash lines here. Any of these would work to color with a marker. So there is my idea number one. And then I am going to come in with idea number two. I took this wider tape that's all white and I decided, hey, I want that to be berry burst. So I'm gonna take my ink pad and I'm going to sponge it. I've just laid it down here and I'm just going to sponge this. Now I didn't make any cards up ahead of time so I don't know what kind of little issues I might run into because I didn't test this out yet, but I thought what a great thing to do. And of course you can keep making it darker and more intense. I'm gonna stop right there. We've got little, it's nighttime here and I've got little bugs. I must have a hole in a screen someplace because they've been kind of getting on my nerves and I've been killing them. So I gotta get that fixed, right? Okay, I'm gonna just peel this washi tape up and let's see, I'm gonna bring in a new piercing mat. Here's the card that I made. This was my idea. So we're testing it out right now. I didn't even have like a test run on this puppy. So I'm going to just put my washi tape right up to the edge of my Whisper White cardstock. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna work. And we're gonna just fold that over the ends. Ha! How cute is that? I'm gonna gl grab some black baker's twine because I wanted to do a little something extra here. The one thing I was worried about is that this wouldn't dry right away and then I would get ink all over my fingers and make a great big old mess. But so far so good, I'm not gonna count my chickens before they're hatched, right? Or do you count eggs? I don't know. Whatever that saying is, you know what I'm talking about. And I just wrap this around a couple times. You guys know that when you're doing something like this, you want to tie this in a knot before you tie your bow because that way it'll be nice and tight and you don't have to mess around with it. You know how it loosens up when you go to tie a bow and that just is annoying. 
<laughs> there are certain things that just annoy me, and that's one of them. Oops, let's try that again. Uh, now I got the right tail. Get my big scissors out here. There we go. And then I want my bow to be a little bit further up, so I'm just going to do that. Ah, that turned out cute, right? We're going to finish this card up right away. A little glue here. And I've got a Berry Burst card base with a layer of black on it. My black is four by five and a quarter. And that makes my Whisper White an eighth of an inch smaller. And then I put some glue or some glitter enamel dots on here. Isn't that cute? This is from the Celebrate You stamp set, which is a big piece of cake, a big party hat, and a big happy birthday. So that's what I stamped on the inside. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to do with the inside. And that is, I wanted to add some little pieces of washi tape in there also. So, And I want them to be colored. So I'm just going to tear those. I want them to have torn ends on them. It's kind of a shabby chic look. And we're going to bring our ink pad back in and get some ink on those. I see my cards lifting up here. There we go. I'm going to press that down good. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to have to Tear this off just a little bit more. There we go. Stick that on there. And I'm going to tear this one just a little bit shorter too, since that one was a little too long. Isn't that cute? What a cute thing to do. I love it. Okay, so we sponged on washi tape and used it that way. And here's another little idea. You can take an envelope and you can run washi tape on the flap. And then what I plan on doing here is using my paper snips and going from the other side and just trimming this up a little bit. And now that I have all that cut off of there, here's going to be the flap of an envelope. So isn't that cute? That's another great idea for washi tape. Okay, I have more. Stick with me. You know those little votive candles that are just kind of plain and boring? They're usually metal. This one happens to be clear. I think it's from um, Party Light, maybe. But I just took some washi tape and wrapped it around the outside of it. You could do a few different colors, and this would be a cute little display. So there's another idea. And then I thought this was really clever. This is my phone charger. And I've put on here some washi tape that says sell Kelly because when I go places like to my mom's house, everybody brings all their cords. And I'm like, no, that's my cord. No, that's my cord. Oh, I think that's your cord. So I put my name right on it with a piece of washi tape that I just wrapped around it and stuck it together, wrote my name on it, and cut a little um, banner end on it just to make it look cute. And then we've got these whatever these are called, I can't remember. But I put some washi tape on here just to kind of decorate it up and again to identify it as mine. I'm not gonna get mixed up with anybody else at the house because this is mine. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen and this is another great idea that you can do with washi tape is to label all your cords that are plugged into a power strip so that you don't have to go hunting around for cords because like Let's say I want to take this lamp and move it, and now I have to like pull on it and see which one makes the lamp wiggle and all of that. Um, you can also put these labels on all the cords in your power strip to know what they go to. So hang tight. That's going to be up on the screen right now. And then I've got one more really cute idea here. Okay, so I made this card so far with the Celebration Time stamp set and matching Celebration Thinlet dies. And this is something that's kind of overlooked in the catalog, but I absolutely love it. It's got all these cute tags in it. 
So all kinds of really, really cool little images in here. And I've barely, um, I've made like three or four cards with this set so far. And I've barely touched the surface of it. So I can't wait to play with that a little more. Anyways, let's get back to our card. I've put it partially together. This is a piece of one by about, I don't know, four and a half, five inches long. And that, that's not really important but the one inch is important. So I'm gonna take some of this washi tape and I've got a piece of baker tw baker's twine here and I'm just gonna cut a, cut a piece off that's a, about three or four inches longer than our little piece of paper. So let me just set this aside for now and we are going to Take our Baker's twine and I'm going to take some pieces of this washi tape and put them right on my layer. I'm going to just fold it over. It's just going to fold over just like that. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way down this white piece of paper. I'm just going to continue adding washi tape and I'll be right back. Okay, and I overlapped my washi tape just a little bit on here. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want. And I'm going to bring my paper snips in now and I'm going to cut some banners. So I'm going to cut all the way up to my baker's twine. You don't want to cut through your baker's twine, so it's important that you keep it at the top. And then those pieces in between are just going to fall out. This is going to be the front because I got that one on the back just a little short. And again, I'm turning it over because I don't want to cut through that baker's twine. I'm just going to pull that last piece off there. And here is our super cute little banner. And you can use colored washi tape for this and you can be done right now. Or you can do, and you can slide these apart a little bit now. That's, that'll work too. Or you can do what I did with the other one and you can sponge some color on. And I think I would like to have a little Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to dab at this. I think this is just stinking adorable. What do you guys think? It's a pretty neat idea with washi tape, right? Oh, I just stuck my hand in the ink pad. Let me get rid of that because I'll get that all over my card. Once again, Kelly's making a mess. I'm really good at that. So I have to tell you guys, I made this video ahead of time and I am actually in Thailand right now. It's pretty exciting, right? <clears throat> I hope that I'm having a blast. I know I will. I always have fun on vacations. But I have a little special going while I'm gone, so stay tuned for that. Let's finish our card. And I am just going to, oh my gosh, isn't my little banner just adorable? I'm just going to take my little banner and I'm going to, well, maybe I only want like four of them. So I'll probably just tuck that one underneath. But I'm just going to tape this around the back. So I'm just going to tuck that string in there. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is I already had my card glued together. And I decided I wanted to do something just a little bit different with it. So that's why it's already glued together. I didn't mean to do that. And we're just going to tuck this down. And nobody except you guys will ever know. Isn't that just cute? I love it. Barring the power strip that's on the floor, here are all the different ideas with the washi tape that I showed you. 
in this video. We've got the envelope and the little votive cup holder and the sponging on the side here and the marker that we use here and then this little banner. Aren't these sweet? So make sure you get out your washi tape, use it, try some of this stuff. Um, you know, washi tape's pretty inexpensive and it's a lot of fun. And I really like this black and white so that you can color it whatever color you would like. Again, this is called the Pick a Pattern Washi Tape. There's a lot of different ways to store washi tape. I started storing mine, um, I would tie it up in some hemp rope that I had to keep the color combos together. So I did that for a little while and then, nah, that was, I was, got lazy. So I just store it in one of these little drawers and this, I have these in my stamp room. This is how I store a lot of things, but the washi tape fits in this just perfectly. So I hope you learned something new. Please do share with me what you're doing with washi tape. I love the marker and the sponging. This is really fun. The little banner and you can use it on envelopes. It's a great embellishment. Um, and also for all the chords. We have a lot of chords in our life. And then let me tell you. So here's my special that I have going while I'm away in Thailand from July 8th through July 16th. When you place a $50 order, I am going to give you like a little card kit. So you're going to get, with a $50 order, you're going to get six card bases in various colors and also six sheets of designer series paper and a packet of ribbon. And here's two different ones that I have. I'll have several of these and they're just going to be random. And again, six pieces of each with some ribbon. And when you place a $50 order, you're going to get all 12 of these card bases with 12 sheets of designer series paper. And I have lots and lots of designer series paper to share with you. And I wanted to give you um, a gift to say thank you for your support. I wish I could take each one of you with me to Thailand, but we know that that's not realistic. And this is my little way that I can... Um, give back a little bit because you guys give so much. I really appreciate all your comments. And I have to tell you, if you want to travel the world, <laughs> join me and my team and I will do everything I can to help you achieve your goals. Back in 2004, when I started this whole thing, this whole rubber thing, I never ever in a million years thought that I would be one of those people going on these incentive trips. And I have been going on incentive trips, I think since 2006. So uh, it's incredible. I've been all around the world with Stampin' Up! All expense paid trip for two. So I wanted to share a little bit of the love and make sure you hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com place your order, and when I get back from Thailand, I will be sending out packets to everyone to share my love. If you don't have a Stamping Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. I produce two videos every week, and I love to share ideas, tips, techniques, fun folds. I love all that stuff. So feel free to hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. I will have... Um, the dimensions on there for all of these cards and you can place an order there I would really appreciate that and add a little sparkle to someone's day send them a card